Um, excuse me. Are you still sleeping? Oh, you're up. Um, did I wake you up or something? No? Okay, good. Um, well, I heard you were going to be here for a few days, correct? Okay, cool. Have you met Prince Ray yet? Oh, you don't know who he is? Well, he's a prince, and he pretty much owns this castle, kind of, because he doesn't have a mom or dad anymore, but he's really cool. He's just... He can have his moments. But also, his two best friends live here too, but they are somewhere else right now for a few days. But anyways, I will pick out a royal outfit for you, and then you can just head downstairs for breakfast. But first, we have to introduce you to Prince Ray first, but I have to tell you, he's a bit feisty, and he has a hard time trusting people, FYI. And also, I will be taking good care of you, okay? Okay, and don't worry, you can trust me. Okay, now let me help you pick out your outfit for today. You should take a shower first. The bathroom is over there. I'll have your outfit laid out on the bed for you and your jewelry, okay? Oh, it's no problem. I'm here to help you, and if you need anything, and I don't care what it is, you let me know, okay? I'll wait for you outside, and then we can walk together, okay? Wow. You look so gorgeous. You're welcome. Are you ready to meet Prince Ray? Just a little nervous. You're so cute. Off topic. I'm I'm sorry. But you don't have to be nervous. He will love you. Oh, look. He's over there with the knights. <clears throat> Good morning, Prince Ray. I have a visitor for you. This is Listener, and they will be staying here for a few days. Oh, really? Cool, I guess. Can we go eat now? But don't you want to welcome them? I'll do it later. Oh, okay. And after that, I I need to talk to you. Oh, am, am I in trouble? Mm-mm. You're, you're not in trouble. Don't worry. Just need to talk to you about... Never mind. I'll tell you later. Okay, well, let's go to the dining room then. So, listener, tell us more about yourself. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, so do you have a big family or a small family? Oh, okay. Where did you grow up at? Cool, cool. What was it like growing up up there? Oh. Um, Prince Ray? Hmm. You look upset. Is something wrong? I'm fine. Can I talk to you in my room, please? Y yes. Y yes, of course. Um, listener, if you want, you can explore the castle if you really want to. We'll be right back, okay? I don't trust them. W what? Why not? Because I barely know them. Who knows if they are bad and evil or maybe a demon? Um, but Prince... Ray, I, I think they're nice and sweet. They're just shy, you know. Still, I can't trust them at all. You don't even know what they could be planning. Look, all I'm saying is that I barely know, th I barely know them. I barely know who they are or what they are, but they could be dangerous. And if you don't like my opinion, that's fine. But I don't want to talk to them. I understand, Prince Ray, but they are staying for a few days, so I won't force you or anything, but can you at least try it out first? 
I know you have a hard time trusting people, but at least just give them a shot. I'll think about it. Okay. Well, um, do you need anything? I'm fine. I'm just gonna go out for a walk. Just be careful, okay? Mm-hmm. You can leave now. As you wish. I don't even know who they are. I still have a bad feeling about this. Ever since that person who lived with us a long time ago, which we have found out that he was a demon, still kind of traumatizes me after he killed my family. I don't want to get too attached with that listener person or whatever the hell their name is. We're supposed to be going to a fancy restaurant soon, and now, since they're here, I don't know if they should tag along with us. Prince Ray! <sighs> Can I help you with something? Since we are going to that fancy place to go out and eat at, do you think listener can come along? I mean, that's only if you want them to. <sighs> I guess they can. Are you sure? Because I said they can come. Oh, well, then I will let them know. I'm going back inside. Okay, your majesty. I will have the horses ready. Thank you. No problem. Uh, what are you doing? Just walking around? Uh, okay. Bye. Huh? <laughs> You're really asking me, do I want to be your friend? Of course I don't want to be your friend. I don't, I don't know if I can trust you, listener. I already have enough friends. So, why do you want to be my friend, exactly? Do you just want to get to know me? So the maid didn't tell you about me yet? Huh. Mm, what a pity. Well, I guess you'll never know then. Bye. Huh? Hey, what What are you- Let go of me! What the hell is your problem? Wh what? Why did you grab me? Why did you grab my hand? Oh, don't you ever in your life, ever, put your goddamn hands on me. Again, do you understand me? Look, I'm not trying to be rude, but I have a very hard time trusting people. I don't know who you are or what you are, but I don't really see myself being friends with you. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to go get ready. Also, you can tag along. Just don't do anything stupid, okay? And FYI, we need to get back here at this castle before nighttime. <clears throat> Because at night, demons be coming out searching for people to hunt and eat. But if you stay indoors, then you're safe. But if they see you wandering off outside at night, then it will obviously, they will kill you or attack you. Huh? What the hell's so funny? I'm being dead serious, listener. You can laugh all you want, but if you go out there at night, alone and if you get yourself killed then that's on you but i'm just giving you heads up okay so now i got the horses set up we should get going hey are you okay you look upset did something happen you was talking with Ray? About what? It's nothing, but he just got feisty with you? I told you he can be a little feisty. Well, I wouldn't say a little. Hey, don't worry about it. I'm sure you two will talk. Come on, let's go and get ready. Who is it? Listener, what the hell are you doing knocking on my door? 
Can you talk to me? About what? No, I'm not going to open the door until you tell me what, what you want. Didn't I just say I don't want to be your friend? What part don't you understand? You know what? Fine, I'll open the door for you. But I'll give you five minutes. <sighs> I guess you could come in. So? I already told you, I don't trust you. That's why I don't want to be friends with you. What other reason do you want me to tell you? Do I think that you're dangerous? You know, that's a good question. I mean, yeah, but at the same time, no. But mostly, yes, I do. But you were calm while we were at that place, and you were really quiet, I can tell you that. But that's not the point. Look, I want to trust you, to be honest. But then again, I don't want to get too attached. Hmm. What? No, no, not, not like that. I don't mean I like you. I meant like getting too attached to the person who I just met. Like being friends. I can trust you. Hmm. Just give me time to decide, and then I will let you know. But it's getting late, so you should head to bed now. Yeah, good. Good night. Hey, wake up. Sorry if I woke you up, but um, I I made my decision. <clears throat> About being friends, you silly. I think being your friend isn't such a bad idea. Hey, hey, whoa, hold on. What was that all about? I mean, yeah, I know it's just a hug, but you hugged me. I'm not used to people hugging me. Uh, n nothing, don't, don't do that again. Again, don't ever do that again. Why? J just don't. Okay? Anyways, you can go back to sleep now. I'll see you in the morning, um, friend. Good night. <sighs> ah! What the hell are you doing here? I knew you would be friends with them. Ugh, stop airdropping. Okay, okay. Sorry, Your Majesty. So, do you think they're do you think they are cute? Get away. Fine, fine. Good night, Your Majesty. <laughs> oh. That was kind of weird. But at the same time it wasn't. I'm still surprised that they gave me a huge tight hug. Having a new friend is new to me. I'm used to having Norman and Emma as my best friends. But a new friend is new. Let's just see how this goes.